Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to be covering 10 tips and tricks that I have learned during my Invictus playthrough of Stalker Gamma. Most of the tips are for the Gamma mod pack, however some of them can be used in Vanilla Anomaly or other mod packs. By the way, if you would like to come watch me complete Invictus, check out my Twitch channel where I will be streaming my Invictus attempts. Feel free to join and ask me any questions about Gamma or just Stalker in general. The link will be in the description and I hope to see you guys there. Tip number one is about ammunition. In the zone, ammunition is scarce, and finding a specific calibre of ammunition for your brand new weapon can be tricky at times. This tip is targeted towards the large rifle calibres of 7.62x51 and 54. 7.92x57 ammo can be bought from most traders at trader level 1 for a relatively cheap price. This ammo can then be disassembled using either a multi-tool or a swiss knife into various ammo parts which in turn can be used to craft 7.62x51 or 54 rounds, presuming you already found gunsmithing tools. In my testing, the conversion rate using this method is about 75%, which means for every 4 bullets you buy and disassemble, you will be able to craft 3 bullets that you want. This rate may change in future updates, but regardless, this is a great way of getting powerful rounds early on and for a cheap price. Tip 2 is a little shortcut that I use constantly when in the duty base in Rostock. As you can see, coming from the path to garbage, there is a window in the side of the building in which if you hold both crouch and the low crouch button, default keys are control and left shift, you will be able to jump and squeeze through the window like shown. This shortcut works both ways. You can also use the same trick to jump through the window behind the trader and give him a little surprise. Having companions while roaming the zone can be extremely useful as they can both carry items and alert you of nearby threats. Therefore, an easy way to get two companions at the start of the game or at any point, presuming you haven't already done this, is by heading to the rookie village in Corden and speaking to Wolf who stands near Sid's bunker. You want to talk to him and ask if there's any work he wants to be done. Cycle through the jobs until you see the quest named Taurus Safari. In this quest, Wolf will ask you to take two loners and go kill some mutants and return. However, you are completely free to just walk off with your newly made friends. The only downside is the companions will not have good weapons or armour and can die easily if you go against higher tier stalkers, but they should be just fine with taking out some bandits. Next is one of the most important tips that I have found when it comes to making a base, crafting a workbench as soon as you can. Workbenches are placeable objects which can be used for free to repair your weapons instead of paying a technician a thousand rubles to use theirs. However, the main reason for getting them is the 300kg space that they provide. In comparison, a backpack stash only sells 50kg. Workbenches can be crafted using 12 metallic scrap and 12 wooden parts. Here is a list of items which can be broken down into either the wooden or metallic parts needed. The most notable parts are both the shovel, as they give two of each parts. The fire making kit, which gives two wood, can be bought from traders for a very cheap price. And the guitar, which gives four wood, it can be found as loose loot, such as the one that always spawns in the medic room of the mercenary base in Dead City. Tip number 5 is also on the topic of ammo crafting like number 1, but is to do with a powdered can item. This item can be found on bandits, loners, clear sky, mercenaries, freedomers and monolith and isn't too rare, but what makes this item special is that it can be disassembled into 45 pistol and shotgun propellant, 45 small rifle propellant and 30 rifle propellant. For example, it requires 30 small rifle propellant to make 15 rounds of 7.62x39 FMJ, so you can see why you need to keep your eyes out on this typically useless item. The next tip is common knowledge, but even I don't spend enough time doing it. Oh, it is to always sell your weapon parts which are below 60 durability. Parts below 60 durability cannot be repaired in any way, so they are practically useless. Yes, you can still use them in a gun, but it will cause your gun to jam more often, which is not great. Therefore, you should just sell them to the closest mechanic and at least earn yourself a bit of money rather than it sitting up, taking up space in your inventory. The only exception is parts with zero durability which you cannot sell to traders so you might as well just drop them or donate them to any trader. Next tip is about the anomaly known as burning fuzz. This is an anomaly which is commonly found hanging from roofs and occasionally leaving patches of its leaves on the ground. 
This anomaly will hurt you if you run through it, however, something I learned recently thanks to a viewer, is that these anomalies won't hurt you if you walk through them. This can be especially useful in situations like shown here, where there is a stash at the end of this fuzz infested building in wild territory. This tip is a very short tip, but I still think it's useful to know. Patches, which can be found on every dead stalker, actually have no weight. This means you can keep all the patches you find on you without affecting your inventory weight. This is useful for completing quests from stalkers as they are quite likely to give you a task which will require you to hand over some patches of a specific faction. The second to last tip is to buy steel wool from a mechanic trader at you. any chance you get. Steel wool is required in all weapon repair kit crafts and quite a lot is needed just for one kit. In the Gamma mod pack, you cannot buy new weapons from traders so you will be mainly relying on repairing up broken weapons you found out in the zone. At Mechanic Trader level 1, they will sell 4 steel wool per refresh, 5 at level 2, 6 at level 3 and 7 at level 4. Traders will refresh their stock at the start of a new day. I have had multiple occasions where I have needed steel wool to repair a gun but don't have any on me and the trader is sold out, so it's always worth buying it whenever you can. The final tip is very useful if you are in a faction which are enemies with military. In the southern area of the cordon, there is a space restrictor which will take you to the Great Swamps. However, getting there will require you to get quite close to the military base, which could alert the military guards to open fire on you. To avoid this, go to this position and jump over the fence like shown. This will make you land right next to the tunnel to go to the Great Swamps, completely ignoring the military. Unfortunately, this trick only works one way, so to get back you will either have to take a different route, or quickly run past the military. Thank you all for watching and I hope you learned something from these tips. If you have any further questions or tips to suggest, feel free to join my stream next time I'm live or drop a comment down below. Link to my Twitch will be in the description. See you next time.